in the early 2010s, Cadillac was in development of their new infotainment module, dubbed Q, or Cadillac User Experience. This system used a capacitive touchscreen consisting of an outer protective screen with an inner response electrical glass panel and a thin layer of conductive gel between the two glass panels that would allow for a softer and more natural touch response. Of course, after a couple years of use, the gel layer would dry out through exposure to heat, just like a gel air freshener. This resulted in a spider web or cracked appearance. The gel would bubble up or dry out and no longer transmit touch actions to the system. In some cases, the system would perceive touches where there were none due to the uneven pressure of the gel. This is a major problem, affecting all years and models of Cadillacs sold worldwide since 2013. A technical bulletin in 2015 was released acknowledging the issue. A Google search will show you how widespread the problem is. Cadillac recommends that you take it to the dealer and pay them $1,600 for another module that will fail again in one or two years. Let's open up a factory screen from a 2014 ATS and see up close what's going on. Here you can see the gel, or what's left of the gel, kind of deflecting there under the touch pressure. Now I'm separating the two layers, the uh, outer protective screen from the glass response layer, and there is the gel layer that we talked about. You can see that it's still in the middle, but anything on the outer portion has dried up and evaporated out the holes on the, on the outer perimeter of the unit. This particular car had symptoms of no touch response on the lower section, which really corresponds to where the gel, the conductive gel is missing. So, so as you can see there, it, the gel is no longer a, a liquid substance. It is really turned into sort of a powder. Uh, it's dried out um, through the through the holes on the on the outer perimeter. Here we can see the escape paths for the gel. Um, as the LCD panel and the HVAC systems get hot, it essentially just cooks the moisture out of the gel and it goes through these little lines that you see here. And that's really the, the main problem is that the gel was not sealed inside this. It was exposed to the elements and on a long enough timeline, it just cooks it right out. Now for comparison, let's do an unboxing and teardown of a Q-Screen's replacement screen. You want to make sure that you order a Q-Screens product with a genuine Q-Screens logo and sticker on it. Um, there's a lot of replicas and counterfeit products out there that, uh, that is junk and you want to generally avoid that. So now as we open up this Q-Screens replacement screen, we'll see that it is a gel-free design. Uh, there is no gel to get hard and dry out like the factory screens. So that's one of the main reasons to order from Q-Screens and not the competition or a factory replacement. The factory replacement is going to leave you uh, with the same issues in, in a couple years. We get a closer look here on the side uh, where it relies on pressure sensitive touching and not this gel design so that's a, a huge benefit. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison showing how much stronger and more durable the Q-Screen's design is. One final word of warning that I'll leave you with is to avoid the $45 to $75 eBay or Amazon counterfeit replicas. It is all untested junk sold by Chinese distributors and most customers are left dissatisfied. Half of my customers are people that order the $75 screen and they want to replace it with a true Q-Screens product. Unfortunately, this results in paying for the installation twice or going through the hassle of a second install job. As someone who has helped over 5,000 people get their Q system functional, I always recommend doing it right the first time with Q screens. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions or would like a free consultation, 
feel free to give us a call anytime.